I made a loaf of homemade bread today. And I pick it up and then I find this. <laughs> Tell me you have kids without telling me that you have kids. <laughs> So it's actually a couple days later. I just thought that was hilarious. I had to capture that on camera with the whole bread thing. It, I went to pick it up to put it in a bag and it was hollow on the inside. I had seen a couple of the kids like picking at it and I didn't care or anything like that. And so it was just funny to me that they ended up eating all the inside of the bread. Okay, so today we are getting into making popsicles. So I had shared with y'all, it actually has been two weeks ago at this point, I think, no. A week, week and a half ago, we went and got all those strawberries. Yeah. And I honestly want to go back. I wish it were closer. Such a good deal on strawberries. So They're I all froze. Gone. Yeah, we ate them all. Um, I froze. Yeah, so I did freeze two big bags worth of strawberries and then we ate the remainder of them. Actually, we've got strawberries out in the fridge. Can we go get that container, please? Yeah. Those are different strawberries. We've already bought strawberries from the grocery store since then. Anyway, so. One of the things that I had wanted to do with the kids is make strawberry popsicles. So we are gonna do that today with the frozen strawberries. I do wanna get to where I'm making jelly too out of the strawberries that I have frozen. I don't think I'm gonna get to that today because I'm also making strawberry applesauce and I'm hoping to can that today. I have canned twice by myself. Yeah. So will you um, open that up and put it on the table so people can eat those up before they go bad? Thank you. Um, so I've only canned twice by myself and both times it was salsa. But my understanding is you can water bath applesauce. So that is what I'm going to hopefully get done today. Um, Do you, um, first step. Have like a different one, a plastic one? Yeah. But it's in storage. Yeah. So first step is we are going to make these strawberry popsicles. I said first step. So this has been in here for, um, I don't know, maybe an hour at this point. I cut up a ton of apples and those strawberries. And we are going to let those just sticks. go on. Um, the crock pot on low until it's done and then we will get that finished up and then we will show you our popsicle making station over here yep all right so i got these molds i actually got them on timu the exact same ones are on amazon but they were several dollars cheaper on timu so we did have to wait you know about a week or so for these to be delivered but they come i i don't like the popsicle molds that have all the sticks to it because we end up losing the pieces and I don't like, haha, uh, ha, mom of many. I don't like things that have a lot of pieces to it because it's just too much to keep up with. So yeah. <laughs> my no, thought was- I mean, you <laughs> do lose a lot of things. I, I do lose a lot of things. Thank you, Harper. <laughs> <laughs> just anything with a ton of pieces just seem, it's just too much stuff for us to keep up with. So my thought was this popsicle mold might work best because you actually use, we came with the popsicle sticks. Um, it came with, popsicle sticks so then those are disposable you know like I just think that this set will work best for us so we are going to make basically a simple syrup with strawberry and then we're going to pour them into the molds and freeze them and then we will have our own obviously it's with sugar so I wouldn't you know say it's healthy but I think that the kids will really like them they like those fruit pops outshine brand um that you know that we get and those are not those are kind of expensive considering you know one box would feed our whole family so <laughs> i have to get many boxes but the package of the popsicle hopefully y'all are following me also came with wrappers to put popsicles in so a funnel more. and a cleaning tool um so all right we're gonna get the strawberry syrup made harper calling me out about losing things <laughs> i got a lot to keep up with y'all <laughs> okay so frozen strawberries we're gonna make a the simple syrup, I need to find a tripod so that this looks better. All right, so I tossed a couple strawberries in there already. So I have two cups of water in here. We're gonna do two cups of strawberries and two cups of sugar. All right, so pour in four of those. That's a half cup measuring. Can I so do one? one? Yep, let Reagan do two and then you can do two. Two of this chunks. Yeah. Two. All right, now let Reagan, or Harper scoop two. Yep, fill it all the way. No, fill that all the way up. There you go. Three, one more. Good job. All right, now, Hart, do you want to pour the strawberries in? Mm hmm. There you go. 
<laughs> now we will just let this simmer and we will get a syrup. While this is simmering and getting ready, it's kind of been a very productive day. We got our schoolwork done. This is chicken sitting out for dinner tonight. Just got that out. Um, I think I'm just gonna do Italian chicken and I've got the fresh green beans that I need to cook. And we'll probably honestly just have rice as a side. So that's my plans for dinner. Got strawberry applesauce going. I have the apple cores and peelings set aside from, you know, cutting up the apples. I really kind of want to make strawberry, not strawberry, apple jelly out of it. But I don't know that my family will eat it. They are like strawberry to the core. Like <laughs> they don't waver from that flavor. I, I've bought great before and they didn't like it. Anyways, I might just make apple cider vinegar out of those scraps. And it's sitting right here. So yesterday we went to the beach, if you can't tell. <laughs> so I actually just wore my dress. I didn't take it off at all. Uh, well, I have a swimsuit on underneath it. <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> I left my dress on over my swimsuit. I did not, y'all hear me. Anyways, um, so I've got this funny like red neck tan or sunburn going on. Several of the kids got burnt too. Um, we're just fair skin, so it does not take much. But it was a fun, very nice day. The weather was gorgeous out. The water was cold, but yeah. My sunburn on my back. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I also wished one. Yeah. Drew didn't got any sunburn. Yeah, Drew looks perfectly fine. Yeah, he um didn't wear any shirt though. Yeah, he had a swim shirt on. Yeah, yeah he did. But it was like shorts. Yeah. His first didn't got. Yeah, he's sunburn. fine. I don't know. Some kids of mine are fairer than others, and some take the sun very well. So, and Drew is one of those. He tans. So I wanted to give you all an exciting update. I got a call like almost first thing this morning from the builder, the well, they are attempting the well today. I really want to go out there. I've said many times it is not super close and gas has skyrocketed. So, I mean, there's no reason for me to be out there. I don't want to be in the people's way, but I just want to see it happening, you know? So obviously I decided to stay home and make strawberry things instead of going. So I'm trying to keep myself busy. <laughs> not really. Um, I really don't want to be in the way. That's, I'm sure, a huge job digging a well. I mean, I have no idea. I've never done it before, obviously, but, um, so it's super exciting. So hopefully they're able to get it in today without a problem. So we need, I don't remember if I updated y'all last week or not what I said. So I'll just say it in case I didn't say it. So last, I haven't vlogged in a couple days, so I don't think I did say it. Uh, it was Friday of last week. He told me that they were going to try getting the well in this week and finishing the house this week. Then we have the electrical trenching and conduit that needs to happen. Then all the inspections of all those things. So getting closer, they have not done much over the last two weeks. The crew, the finishing crew had a death in the family. So they have not finished or worked on any jobs, obviously, which felt very bad for them. Um, so we, you know, are understanding um, that stuff is happening this week. So getting excited. So maybe we'll drive out later this week and, you know, see firsthand what's happened. I've been trying to limit my trips and not just go just because. Like if I'm gonna be in that vicinity, you know, I'll go. So wanted to let y'all know that a well is going in. So from what I've heard from people is a well takes about a day. Um, it's kind of really interesting to me. Like you just pick a spot and dig and hit water. Um, obviously I know like maybe they have to try another spot, but that just, it's kind of mind blowing to me. Maybe I should look it up and <laughs> see all the process on it. I really, I've learned this about myself. I like to understand like how things work. So like watching how a well is put in is intriguing to me. Well, that was a lot of rambling <laughs> on well being dug and all that for me. Okay, so this is simmering. Um, as you can see, the strawberries are starting to turn white. So all you want to simmer this until the strawberries are all white and it gets all the flavor and coloring out of the strawberries. And then you just basically strain the strawberries off and that's it. Um, I will leave a little bit of the strawberries in here just to keep some texture to the popsicles. but And then I'll let this cool down before I put it in the molds. All right, so it's done and has cooled. Yes. Okay. We have so much going on. Oh. 
Why not? Okay, good job. Oh, yeah. Right, thank you. Side. Yeah, Harper found one of my tripods. <laughs> thank you, Harper. Oh, I feel like I'm being torn in so many different directions Here, today. I pulled it up. Thank you. Mom, I can't even open up. Okay, no. I'm coming. I'm coming. There's always so much happening at once. So, um, got everything settled. There was not enough. So that was two cups of water, sugar, and strawberries. So that was not enough to fill the molds. Um, I only got to fill up one almost, I, three cells are not filled up. So making another batch of the apple. Apple, oh my goodness y'all. Like, I just need to slow down today. Making another batch of the strawberry syrup. And then checking in on the strawberry applesauce. Give that a stir. been sitting here for a while. These are starting to kind of get mushy. And then I used, I decided to make apple cider vinegar. I don't think my kids would eat apple jelly. I am going to try to make it one day because I really want to make apple scrap jelly. My mom likes apple jelly and so I thought I could gift it to her. But today we decided just to do apple cider vinegar. So I got an old pickle jar and we got all of our scraps in there and we will add water and sugar. And Reagan and Harper are wanting to make lemonade, so they're using fresh le like lemons and are squeezing it. So there's going to be a lemonade mess over there, but they want to make lemonade popsicles. They're very good. They yeah, are. You love them. I did. They are very good. But now I've got the strawberry syrup over here. I guess I could just can that as well. I got them all filled up. So those are the lemonade ones. We put a little lemonade in this one. A little, little lemonade and. And then, yeah, finish it off with strawberries. So, I want to do one. Okay, we'll pop these in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Yep, I kind of filled them up a little bit too much. But that's why I have the cookie sheet under there. Mm -hmm. All right, then push these down. Okay. I'll do the second. Okay. Working on dinner, and we started making copycat Texas Roadhouse rolls don't have cinnamon but you need the cinnamon butter with the cinnamon or you need the cinnamon butter with the texas roadhouse rolls so we're in walmart real quick to run in and get some cin some cin some cinnamon um and then we will resume dinner activity once i get back home All right, strawberry applesauce is done. I didn't get to show it to y'all. So I got it in jars and then we're going to put this in the canner. This one I'll just put in the fridge then. Okay. Right, here's dinner. We got yellow rice, green beans. We're doing the applesauce in there. And then the chicken and corn. And the first batch of the Texas Roadhouse rolls are done. I right, got the strawberry applesauce done in process and I have already heard several pings. I think I've heard three. So, so excited about that. It's just so fun. Um, and that is what the apple cider vinegar is looking like. I need to find a rubber band. I don't have one. So it's a little later. We got dinner all cleaned up and Nathan got home from work late, but he also stopped at my P.O. box for me and I am so excited. Thank you, Miss Melissa, for sending us this Belgian waffle maker. Oh my goodness, we love making waffles and this is gonna be so amazing to use. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, it looks so nice. I can't wait to open it up and use it. Actually, the kids, they saw it and they got all excited. They wanna have waffles tomorrow. So thank you so much for thinking of us. It blesses us just, uh, just so deeply. Thank you so much. So you know what we will be doing tomorrow morning. <laughs> so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we will see y'all in the next video.